Good morning, everyone. This morning, I have a yoga practice for you again. But today, we're gonna do it a little bit differently than usual. We're gonna play a follow the leader kind of game with our yoga. But who's gonna be the leader? Not me. I didn't plan any of this. We are gonna play with these guys. And this is gonna be our leader. If you come to our Wednesday night activities and played with me, you might recognize these are my yoga dice. They have different yoga poses on them. So we're just gonna roll the dice and see what the dice tell us to do. Sound good? Let's go. We'll roll both dice. And we've got cat, cow, and boat pose. So first, we're gonna come on to our hands and knees and drop your belly like a cow. And next is boat pose. So come and have a seat on the ground with your feet out in front of you and stretch your arms out in front of you and lean backwards. Maybe you can even lift your feet off the floor. And you're gonna roll the dice again. Stand up for tree pose. Tree pose and eagle pose. Tree pose, everyone's favorite pose. Lift one leg up in the air and set it on your other leg. And grow your branches nice and tall. Maybe you blow in the wind. Our leader didn't say to blow in the wind. But I like to sway my branches. And be a tree on the other side and grow your branches nice and tall. And bring your branches down. And do you remember eagle pose from a couple weeks ago? That was a little tricky. We're gonna lift one leg up, cross it over your other leg, cross your arms like an X, and bend them up. Soar like an eagle, and we'll fly on the other side. Lift your leg up and cross it over your other leg. Cross your arms like an X and bend them up. And sit down and soar like an eagle. All right, let's roll the dice one more time. And then easy seated pose. So come onto your hands and knees and drop your belly like a cow. Bend your back like a cat. So here we played follow the leader, but how did our leader or leaders know what to tell us to do? Well, of course they didn't know. There's blocks of wood. They didn't know anything. They're just fun. So I, I want to read you 
a story though about uh, what Jesus taught about following the leader, following God. So in Matthew chapter 21, start, starting with verse 28, Jesus is telling a story. And he says, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father said to the other son, then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Which one, which one do you think did what his father wanted? If you also think the first, you would be right. That's what Jesus said too. And so Jesus is teaching that just like that first son followed what his father wanted him to do and did the work that his father asked him to do, Jesus wants us to follow our father, who is God, and follow what God tells us to do. So here's a big difference between following God and following the leader. It was these, these were totally random. There was no reason for what they told us to do, but God always has a reason. God has a purpose, and God's purpose, God's work, the things God tells you are always good. Always. Now, if you're anything like me, that's especially important to remember. Because sometimes I don't understand what God is telling me. Uh, maybe I am praying to God and I say, God, this just doesn't make any sense to me. Or sometimes I might say, God, this doesn't make any sense and it's hard and I don't want to do it. And so I have to remember in my head and have faith in my heart that God knows what God's doing and the things that God is telling me, the things that God is asking me to do are good. And when I remember that and when I have faith, I know that I can follow God. And so I want you, that's what I want you to remember. I want you to have faith to follow God always because God and God's love are always good. And those are things we can follow. Will you pray with me? God, we thank you for these young people and pray that you would be with them this morning, every morning, and every day as they go and grow in their faith and learn to follow you. Give them a faith, God, to follow you no matter what, even when it's hard, even when it doesn't make sense. Fill them so that they 